Welcome to the comment section on N3 Prime Time tonight. We're diving into your reactions from our latest video, the chin that could sink the presidency. Everybody noticed. Now the truth comes out. So let's see what you had to say. First up, we have Kenneth, who shares a poignant, albeit intense, family story. He writes that I yelled at my grandparents for 20 minutes for voting for Biden. Then I got tired and left the cemetery. <laughs> Kenneth, I get it. It's frustrating. You're not just speaking for yourself, but echoing the sentiments of millions who feel betrayed. It's a reminder that the decisions made in the voting booth echo beyond the grave, impacting generations. Next, we have Elaine, who doesn't mince words. She says, never failed? You are a failure as a president, sir. Go home. Well, Elaine, your directness is refreshing. When leadership fails to meet the mark, it's crucial for us to call it as we see it. The office of the presidency demands results, not just rhetoric. And if those aren't delivered, well, Elaine, your advice sounds pretty apt. Now let's hear from DB7746 out of Michigan. Yes, I'm in Michigan. Everyone is struggling. He is delusional. Well, DB, you are spotlighting a reality that's all too common across our republic. While someone in someone power paint a rosy picture, everyday Americans feel the pinch. It's not just a disconnect, it's a disservice to the hardworking people of this nation. Inside Out 144 brings up a point that's causing quite a stir. The only, one, the only ones doing well are him and his administration and Ukraine, and that absolutely pisses me off. Well, Inside Out, you're not alone in this feeling. It's infuriating when it seems like foreign interests are prioritized over America's well-being. Your anger is justified, and it is a sentiment that should resonate in the halls of power. Lastly, we have Mike Duggar, 669, keeping it simple. I'm so tired of this, man. Well, Mike, sometimes fewer words speak volumes. Fatigue with failed policies and leadership is a common theme among our viewers. It's clear that the patience of this American public is wearing thin. Folks, your comments not only shed light on the pulse of the nation, but are a powerful reminder that the voices of the American people will not be silenced or sidelined. Here at N3 Primetime, we hear you loud and clear, so keep the comments coming and let's keep holding the powerful accountable. That's it for the comments section, and maybe next time your comments will make the cut. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.